Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Straight Out of Boston, aka the King of Boston, and today I have the second episode of my Manny being Manny rope to the show featuring Manny Ramirez on the Portland Sea Dogs, which, if you guys didn't know, is the double A affiliate to the Boston Red Sox. So, if you guys missed episode one, basically created recreated Manny Ramirez, and I put or I entered him in the draft, and he got selected by the Boston Red Sox. And you see the first pitch of the new advancement period of the new episode. We take Yard for our fifth home run of the year. Now, I'm just going to recap on the last episode. Or basically the creation kind of for people who didn't miss it. This is the recreation, the rebirth, whatever you want to call it, of Mandy Ramirez. One of the greatest hitters of all time. And now he kind of ended off his career a little rough. Uh, he's been released by the Oakland Athletics, and he's currently a free agent. So I thought, what what would be a better way to tribute than to recreate him in a video game? <laughs> That's really not the best way to pay tribute to him, but he's definitely the greatest hitter I ever saw in person play. And I know I've said that about 38 times now in the first two episodes, but either way. So, in this episode, I'm gonna, I really... I think it's kind of hard to talk over Road to the Show gameplays like this, so I'm going to actually talk about my predictions for the 2012 second half for the Major League Baseball season, because this video is going up on Friday, which is the official start of the second half of the season. Now, my predictions, I'm going to kind of make some predictions for playoff hunts and maybe World Series. Start off in the AL. Now, I'll go division by division. The AL East... I think the Yankees are going to take that division. I don't see Baltimore and Tampa Bay hanging around. I think they have too many holes in their team. Tampa Bay definitely does not have enough offense. I think Toronto's just going to hang around, really not do anything more than maybe end up two or three games above 500. And as for my Red Sox, well, uh, the epitome of... Uh, what was the, what's the word my dad likes to use? I can't remember. it. I don't know. He always says that. It's uh, what. Uh, Mediocrity, as he says. The epitome of mediocrity being 500 going into the All-Star break. And uh, it's pretty disappointing, but I don't know, maybe maybe Jacoby Ellsbury and Cole Crawford can come back, give some life to the team. Maybe Josh Beck, give me the old Josh Beckett. I don't know. I don't have, I'm not going to get my hopes so up, let's put it that way. <laughs> but moving on to the AL Central, so currently the White Sox lead the division. However, I believe they're going to fall out of the race and the Detroit Tigers are going to overtake them. I think the Tigers have had a lot of... Guys underperforming in the first half, and I think Austin Jackson is huge for them. Once he came back from the DL, they really started playing well, playing a little bit better, and they've, what are they, two or three games over 500 at this point? Uh, nice voice crack there, haha. -ha. Anyway, so I think the Detroit Tigers are going to come back and win that division. I believe they will overtake the Chicago White Sox. And for the AL West... Now, I know the Rangers have the best record in baseball, but I believe that the Angels are going to take one of those wild card spots, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, and I think they might challenge the Texas Rangers in the playoffs. I They have the second best record since May 1st. The only team with a better record than them is the New York Yankees since May 1st. Uh, the Angels are 39-23 since that time, whereas the Yankees are 40-24, and 24, I believe. Uh, I think so. Or maybe it's... Not sure. Maybe it's 40 and 23 and 39. And, I don't know. It's those four numbers somewhere like that. But it, you get the idea. So I think the Angels are playing extremely well, good baseball. I think they're a very deep team. And I think it's going to be interesting to see. I would love to see an ALCS of Angels versus Tigers. That'd be great to watch. Except all the games wouldn't start till about 11. But <laughs> oh well. Maybe. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe they would start at like 9. I'm not sure. But. So that's pretty much going to do it for the AL. Moving on to the NL, the National League, the winners of the 2012 All-Star Game. And the NL pennant winner will definitely have home field advantage for the 2012 World Series, which would be a good advantage. Now, for the NL East, this, this, this race is wide open. I don't see the Phillies coming back. I think they've just... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't like their chances of... You know, kind of turning around the ship and or riding the ship, I should say, and making a run for first place. The Mets, I don't know. I don't know how long they're going to stay in this thing. See, I think, you know, depth really comes into play in the second half. And it's not just your one through nine guys. 
on your in your lineup. It's not just your one through five guys in your pitching rotation. It's it's the bullpen and it's your bench because guys get hurt and it's who's gonna step up. And that's why I was like a depth of a team, and I just don't see that much depth in the New York Mets. So I don't know. We'll see how it does. Their pitching's definitely carried them through so far. Although Yohan Santana has struggled a lot since he threw that no-hitter on June 1st. So I think the Braves might take that. I don't really see anyone else, anyone else contesting. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, I forgot about the Nationals. <laughs> I'm stupid. The Nationals are definitely winning that division. That's for sure. Even if they shut down Strasburg, they're too deep of a team. Their pitching is extremely deep. Um, oh, I hope they don't shut down Strasburg because I think, uh, and I tweeted about this earlier, uh, and if you have a seven-game series where Steven Strasburg and Gio Gonzalez could combine for five starts, why would you shut down one of those guys? I mean, that's five games you should win. Chances are you're going to win at least three of them. Then all you're asking for is Edwin Jackson or Jordan Zimmerman to eke out a win. And you're set. I mean, that's that's a serious win. You could do that against any team in baseball. So I hope they don't. Uh, I hope they don't shut them down. And we'll see. I think they're gonna take it. I'll see, we'll see what the Braves do. Uh, the Braves are a team every year that seems like they could, you know, like they're. I mean, they're, every year they're deep enough to win, to win a World Series. To be honest, but they just they seem to underperform every year. But moving on to the NL Central. Now the Pittsburgh Pirates lead the division at this point. Uh, they have a record of 48 and 37. They're a game up on the Reds. Now, I personally think the Reds are going to come back and overtake them. I don't see the Pirates being very deep, as I said. Uh, there's a stat like they're three through five pitchers or something, and they're like five through nine hitters or some of the worst in the league, to be honest. Something like that. So they're not very deep. I don't see them hanging around very much. I think Andrew McCutcheon has really carried them, and I think it's just not going to last. I'm sorry, Pirates fans. I'd love to see you guys in the playoffs. I I'd love to see the the black and yellow machine, the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates, in the playoffs. But I think the Reds are going to come back and win that division. The Reds have a very deep team. They have the best hitter in baseball, and Joey Votto, at least in my opinion. Guy does it all. He could hit 350 and 30 home runs or 40 home runs if he wanted to. But anyway. And lastly but not least, the NL West. Now I see the Dodgers probably pulling out the division. But the San Francisco Giants are hot on their heels. And, man, I could, I don't know, actually. I could see the, the Giants definitely uh, making a run for the division. But I think, overall, the Dodgers, to me, aren't going to be playoff contenders. I don't see their, I see a lot of pitchers and hitters have stepped up. But I don't see that, um, I don't see that continuing throughout the year. So, I think that overall, the Dodgers aren't going to do too much in the playoffs. And I think if any team in the NL West does anything, it'll be the Giants. So, I guess my wild card predictions will probably be the Braves and the Giants in the NL. And the Angels and, I don't know, maybe, maybe the Orioles in the AL. Maybe the White Sox. Orioles and White Sox are going to battle out for that last wild card spot. As for my World Series predictions, I guess I'll make them now. I'll take... I think I'll take the I'll, th I'll take the Yankees on this one. I, I hate to say it as a Red Sox fan, but I mean that's a tar that's a hard team to beat. I mean they're very deep. Uh, they're gonna let's see if they get Brett Gardner back. I'm sure they'll make a nice move at some point in the trade deadline. But anyway, and for the L, uh, depending on whether or not they take shut Strasburg down, I think the Nationals have a very good shot. Although even though I don't take youth a lot, I would you know I'd, I'd take experience over youth in the playoffs. I think the, uh, the Nationals have a very good chance to do something special. <sighs> it's 3.47 in the morning. Sorry, guys. And if the Nationals don't do anything, I think the NL would be wide open at that point. I think the Giants, Reds, Dodgers, or... Yeah, I think, I think it would come down to those three teams if it's not the Nationals. Which is why I think the Nationals could do it. It's just because how wide open that... Uh, how wide open the NL is, but the last at bat of this episode is going to be a what was that a two run home run I believe off this left handed pitcher on the Trenton Thunder. I believe that was two run home run, and that's the last at bat of the episode. We end up with six home runs this episode, and I hit so well this episode that I actually am going to end up turning the difficulty down for the next episode just a little bit, just to adjust the sliders. Didn't really uh, mess with the levels too much. But you're going to see the advancing period is over. I'm going to leave you guys off with the stats. 
and the upcoming schedule. So please like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more MLB 12 The Show videos like this or franchise mode. And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'm out. Peace.